goodness. Oh, hey, you're here. Thank you for making it and thank you for ordering our services. Yes, um, so uh, I am one of the people um, in this company who can help you. So basically we are short-term hired secretaries and we kind of like time management people as well. I'm just going through um, what you have here and from what I'm seeing at the moment, just to make sure that I have it all right, is that you are quite a busy person and that you would like to find the way to find the time for yourself. And you'd also like to visit Jim regularly? Is that right? Mm, I've been underlying a couple of underlying notes. Can I ask you how many times per week would you like to um, go to the gym? How many hours do you like to spend there? What is your goal? Hmm? Okay. Three to four times per week, one and a half hour per day. Hmm. Okay. And how much free time? About two hours. Do you have any plans for this? Um, or it's just time to yourself? So, kind of half and half. Do I ever ask you what is your plan? I'd like to write a book. Mm, that's very interesting. It's fascinating, but I understand all of this. You need time for your body, you need time for your soul, and you also need the time to just relax and wind to take it easy. That is so understandable. Absolutely. I can help you with this. So First, I'm looking at what you have here. You have a family and you have children and you're also quite a workaholic. Is this right? <laughs> Nobody likes to admit this, but, um, but yeah, I, no, definitely you are. You got to admit this and that's the first step. You are not the person who is running the business. You just work in this office, but it's quite an busy one, isn't it? Okay. And um, what is your contracted time? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it down. until seven. Okay. Um, sometimes until eight. And technically you're supposed to be nine to five. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, can I ask you this? Um, when you get back home, what do you do? You just have time to have food and then that's it, isn't it? Right. Um, yeah, you've been moving your head to bed, which is 
completely understandable and everybody needs a certain um, time for sleep. I am an 8 o'clock girl, so um, as in like 8 hours girl, so I get that. Hmm. Must be pretty difficult. Yes, you get home, get some food. Does somebody cook in your house? Okay, and can I ask you what your weekend normally looks like? Okay, so you have to look after the house, make sure everybody is happy. You're working on the weekend as well? Just answering some questions that somebody might have from work. Okay. And on top of that, you're looking after the house. Hmm. So, the question that I'd like to ask you here is, is there any way you can reduce your working hours? And I understand completely, sometimes we have a reason why we want or why we do what we do, or quite often we do have a reason, most of the time. Uh -huh. Okay, so you feel like if you don't do it, the volume of work would be overwhelming. Mm. And is there only one person who is dealing with this volume of work? It's just, I'm thinking that your contract is 39 hours, and you say you're working around 70. Um, that would be about 35 hours per person. So I take it you also take the breaks. You don't. <laughs> okay. You eat as you work. Okay. Um, um, and can I just double check with you if you had to judge yourself how valuable of an employee are you essential that's good you value yourself and that, that's very good you think they won't be able to deal without you okay okay so can i suggest something Mm. By the looks of it, what you're doing first of all is highly illegal and I said I completely understand where you are coming from, but at the same time, mm, I think you might need to talk to your boss and consider um, the idea that there might be another person which would reduce your hours from 7 to 7 to say 9 to 5 okay. so basically are you getting more money for what you do? yeah of course of course that makes complete sense at least there's that and can I ask you whether financially you feel very secure? I do you have more than enough Um, would you consider perhaps slowing down and taking a bit of time to yourself? Um, I think that's a very simple solution here. I mean, even if you do 7 to 5, that would already help things. Mm. Uh, okay. So, if they hire another person, that will reduce your paycheck but at the same time give you time for yourself and you have time for everything think about it if you are doing so you still wait need to wake up early but you will finish two or three hours earlier so four days per week say you go to work you come back straight from the gym or straight from work perhaps you could go to the gym or perhaps i don't know how you like your food if there is a gym near your house, you might, have, might need to have food, say, straight after work, ok? 
get to the place where you leave and then put the gym over there. Sounds reasonable. Okay, that's very good. So that's definitely something to consider. Mm -hmm. So, you get home by 6. No, that would be... It would be a little bit tired, but it's tight still, but... Okay, and then you'd like an additional two hours. Um, I mean, again... I think the advice that I'd give you there is 9 to 5, if you want those two hours. Mm. Yeah, so whatever you decide to do with this time is up to you, but I'm telling you. So the problem here you run into, so once you go to the gym and you would need to go to bed straight away because you'd need your eight hours of sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, there's no judgment here. All I'm doing is basically planning it out, okay? Mm. Okay, um, yes. If you reduce this to 9, 9 to 5, there's a couple of options. You can um, either go to the gym before work, four times, and after work, you will come back home, you have your food, you have your time. Now, with your house, um, can anybody in your family do the job that you do? Or not to all of it, but help you out at home. Okay. Okay, okay, no, no, that's absolutely no. Um, so even if they can't, uh, you still need to put some boundaries and talk to them and tell them that you need your time. They can't take all of it, whatever it is, okay? Okay. Right, so I have an idea in mind and I'm gonna type it. Um, so I kind of got the clue of how it's working and where is the problem. So I'm gonna type a couple of ideas. I'm gonna look at what you've told me today and I'm just gonna send it over to you. You have your email address right up here. Are you happy with that? No, that's just the first session. If um, an additional one is needed, let me know and that's going to be absolutely free. And of course, we'll keep in touch through emails and phone calls possibly if you need them. Mm. And we can have another meeting just to see how you um, fare, okay? Okay. Now stay safe for now and try to take it easy.